The homeowner reported to her builder that the ceiling in the room under the roof-to-wall intersection would get wet during wind-driven rains, which occur a few times each year. The problem was identified as a lack of a fully adhered and integrated through-wall flashing at the roof-to-wall intersection. The builder removed the brickwork from above the roof-to-wall flashing and left in place the copper roof flashing. The builder installed and integrated a fluid-applied air and vapor barrier with the through-wall flashing. Holes and joints in the sheathing wall were filled with polywall hole filler and a 40 mil wet coat of polywall airlock flex VP was roller applied over the face of the sheathing. A new copper apron flashing was fabricated and installed on the brickwork ledge with the vertical leg counter flashing the vertical leg of the roof's copper flashing. Polywall through wall flashing cants were installed along the brick ledge to support the flashing across the wall cavity and to establish a slope to drain plane. This is Polyguard 400 through wall flashing. It is a 40 mil flashing with the release paper slit three inches from the edge. This feature enhances the installation experience. Even though the masons doing this work were not familiar with the installation of embedded flashings, they can be seen doing a first-class flashing job. They worked with lengths of flashing averaging about five feet long. Notice there are no bladder bubbles in the flashing or fish mouths along the flashing edges, which would need to be repaired should they occur. Not having them saves time and material. Polyguard 400 through wall flashing makes it easy to get the installation correct from the beginning to the end of every job. It is difficult to see in this image, but observe three inches of the flashing have been adhered and the flashing rotated upward to access the remaining release paper. The split release feature allows the flashing to be adhered in sections and smoothed as the release paper is removed. The positive slope to drain established by the through wall flashing cant can be observed on this slide. Water passing over the face of the backing wall will not accumulate where there is a positive pitch and open weeps. After the wall and ledge were flashed, the installers applied pressure over the face of the flashing with a rubber surfaced roller not shown in these photos. This flashing demonstrates full adhesion as indicated by telegraphing of the substrate irregularities. Full adhesion like this is made possible by the split release paper that Polyguard provides on its 6, 9, 12, 16, 18, and 24 inch flashings. A 40 mil end dam was formed with a 2 inch tall end leg and installed at the end of the flashing to manage lateral water movement. Polyguard flared edge termination strips were installed along the top edge of the flashing. Polyguard 650 mastic was then applied in and along the flared termination edge and along each flashing end lap. The mastic along the termination strip was tooled to a shape that would shed water and the mastic on the end laps were tooled to a uniform thickness. Polyguard horizontal weeps were then secured over the face of the flashing with the weep extensions extending beyond the face of the copper apron flashing. The design of the polyguard horizontal weep allows water to flow into the dedicated drainage path along the top edge of the 8 inch body at each end joint that occurs every 3 feet and along the bottom edge of the 8 inch body itself. Once in the dedicated drainage area Water seeks its way to the weep extensions, which are the path of least resistance. The first course of brick was set in a full bed of mortar, and the mortar cut flush with the face of the veneer. After the mortar set to thumbprint hard, it was tooled, and then the weep extensions were trimmed flush with the face of the joint. Viewing this slide, one might think that mortar would clog the sides of these weeps, 
but in reality, the stiff nature of mortar keeps it from compromising the drainage area of the wheat. This is clearly seen in the concluding video. This video is a condensed version of a 20-minute water test performed on the remediated wall. It shows the beginning, middle, and end of the test. The black material seen on the face of the copper roof flashing is remnant material from the original construction and was cleaned at a later time. Data and observations for the test are as follows. A water hose was used to put water into the cavity. One brick was left out of the wall assembly for placement of the hose. As measured in the field, the flow rate of water was 5 gallons every 65 seconds or 276 gallons per hour. The test was made in three segments that took approximately seven minutes each with two minutes separating each video segment. Each time the hose was removed from the cavity, it took approximately 17 seconds for water to stop draining noticeably from the weeps. In total, an estimated 92 gallons of water were directed into the cavity. Ten weep extensions were needed to equalize the input flow of water, meaning that each weep has a capacity of not more than 27.6 gallons per hour. There are approximately one and a half weeps per lineal foot, which means the capacity of the horizontal weep is approximately 41 gallons per hour per lineal foot. As the flashing emptied quickly after the input was stopped, the function of each weep changed to venting. It is known that positioning vents at the bottom of a wall is the best way to dry a wall. Furthermore, Drying a wall quickly reduces the likelihood of staining and the growth of mold. During the test, the owner of the property was stationed in the interior of the building to watch for leaks. None were observed. The problem of water leaking into the interior space was corrected. Conclusion? Using Polyguard horizontal weeps in conjunction with other Polyguard flashing components, with installation methods and sequencing as shown, is the best way to keep water from accumulating in a wall assembly and provides the best means and method of circulating air to dry a wall. This concludes the presentation. For requests or additional information, contact Polyguard at 615-217-6061 or visit our website at www.polyguardproducts.com.